morning y'all i know i look real pale like oh girl are you sick i don't have no makeup on don't come for me do not come for a lot of people are still asking about the army situation and like what happened and how we need to go from me and then we ended up not needing to go from me and what exactly happened and i'm just gonna go into a little deep oh y'all have you, you see this new growth right here i'm just gonna go into detail basically since I mean, I never made a video about it, but I did talk about it um, when I was live. But I'm going to go do my makeup so you guys can come with me. Okay, so I've been waiting for Uriah to do this video, but he's been training for two months. Um, the past month and then this month he'll be done at the end of April. So we haven't really been able to really do videos with him. But I guess I'll just go ahead and kind of clear up some things. So... The reason that we made a GoFundMe account was because, number one, let's go do some backstory. Uriah went to Afghanistan, okay? Uriah went to Afghanistan when he was 2000, I don't know how I was 20. He was 19 years old when he went to Afghanistan. He left 2011, he came back in 2012. Now, when Uriah came back, he was a total different person and he's been struggling with it since he just has a lot of depression he's seen a lot he's done a lot things like that happen in the military and they notice that you are depressed that you have PTSD you have to go through like a med board and you have to go through all this stuff to basically prove and make sure that you are fit for the army and make sure that um, you're okay and make sure that you have PTSD and where it came from, blah, 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 whatever. So they were doing that and they are basically trying to figure things out, but they were like kind of insinuating like he wasn't going to get his benefits and like if we were to get out because he wanted to get out and if we were to get out, he wasn't going to get his benefits and all that jazz so it kind of freaks me out like you can only imagine having a set income every month and then someone telling you like we just might basically be homeless might not have anything now they were saying it, it wasn't on paper so it's my bad for even snapping and going like <laughs> crazy or whatever and the reason that i even told youtube that i made a gofundme was because i'm a real ass b okay and i'm gonna let you guys know if i make a mistake and i feel like that was a mistake because i thought that we weren't gonna have anything the reason that the gofundme never made it to youtube and be the reason why I refunded the people who actually did um, donate was because we got the news the next week that he would get full benefits. And that basically means, to sum it all up, that he's going to be making way more than he makes in the military based on the benefits, based on um, like forever, for life. And also, he's going to be going to school, so we're going to be getting... Um, BAH and all that stuff so basically God found a way God seen me break down I had a whole mental breakdown and God seen a way like he was like no you don't need to ask people for donations you don't need to freak out everything is going to be okay and I should have just waited that's a serious message I should have just waited on God when you feel like things are going to happen just sit back and wait just wait, okay? Because I knew right in that moment it was happening. I was like, oh my God, I have to do this. I, I should have just waited and just gave it to God. For real and honestly. And I learned that through all of that. But that's what I just needed to do. So when people are like, oh, how'd you go from needing um, $15,000? We didn't need $15,000. On the donation, it says how much are you wanting to donate or raise or whatever. So I just put that as a number. Like it wasn't like a necessity need. $100, $1,000, $2,000 would have been fine. I just needed some kind of something to help, you know, help us with that new chapter and moving and all that stuff. And then when we got the news, I was like, even if we do struggle, just to know that we'll have some type of income outside of mine is enough for me i don't mind struggling because god has a lot more in store for us in our life and i don't mind showing you guys and sharing with you guys because i'm human and i'm gonna go through 
my ups and downs just like any person I'm gonna learn from my mistakes just like any person but a lot of my a1 day one bows were kind of like thrown off like how you go from needing a GoFundMe to buying a MacBook and buying a um, Fitbit or just doing things with money when you just said that you needed money and that is why once we realize that we were able to have a steady income after he gets out along with mine we were able to still do the things that we wanted to do granted i didn't go out and buy a whole two thousand three thousand dollar computer i went on craigslist and i got a used one and i priced it and everything and he wanted six hundred and seventy five dollars but I didn't want to, I, I wanted to get it as low as I could. So I basically talked the dude down to 500 which I am <laughs> so proud of myself. And we've been budgeting ever since and trying to save, get our savings back together and in order and planning for our new chapter. Also, what are we doing once he gets out? He wants, I talked to you guys about this on live, but I know a lot of you guys sometimes miss the live. So, he wants to be a social worker, so he might go back to school for that. Or, he wants to be a police officer. So, we're going back and forth with what he wants to do and his plans. He hasn't, you know, when we get a set date, that's when we're going to have a set, set, set plan. But, he's going between social worker because he was, a, he was in foster care or being a police officer because that's his long dream. Like, he's always wanted to be a police officer. Me, on the other hand, I'm thinking of going back to school and getting um, a bachelor's or a master's in social marketing. And I also am just looking at different jobs and things because I don't want to necessarily start teaching again. I kind of love what I'm doing now. Not kind of. I really love what I'm doing now. And I want to incorporate that in my life. You know, because YouTube might not always be here. Like, you have to have a degree to fall on, even if you want to necessarily do something like YouTube for the rest of your life you have to have something to fall back on and if I love what I'm doing on YouTube there's always going to be some type of social media there's always going to be some type of marketing plan so I think I want to do that in my life and I think I want to be a social media marketer and that necessarily would mean like I could do a whole bunch of stuff with that really to be honest and if you don't know some of the stuff you could do just google it girl just google it google it honey google it honey okay and I think I answered pretty much everyone's questions that I've been getting a lot especially in live like I get them all the time and I have to re say it over and over and over again so I was like why not just make a whole video for you bells because I know I left you guys high and dry I didn't really explain it and a lot of people were actually mad at me and I felt bad because at the time I wasn't ready to really talk about it because I was stressed out and dealing with so much and I was like um I would make a full video but you're right ended up having to do training and why he has to do training is because his unit is doing it so he had to do it even though he's getting out he still had to do it because he's still in the army and once you're still in the army you still have to do army okay so yeah um that's basically it i think i answered all of your questions Hopefully you guys understand now. And this not isn't necessarily like, oh, you don't have to explain yourself to nobody. I I see you guys as family. And I if I'm talking to my family about certain things and things come up, of course, I'm going to explain them. And I want you guys to know exactly what happened piece by piece and go through this getting out of the Army journey with us. And the only way you can go through the whole journey with us is if you know what is going on. You know what I'm saying? So, I definitely wanted to keep you guys informed, keep you guys up to date. We do not have a date for when we're going to be moving. Um, yes, we're going back to Cincinnati. We just have to have a date with the Army, and then once we have a date, or if they don't give us a date, then he won't be re-enlisting. So, that would mean that he will be getting out next year. But we're not sure. We're hoping for this year, and that they can go and put through all the paperwork and everything, and it'll be this year. But... It might not be so we're not sure possibly I think that we'll probably find out everything and know you know the whole shebang by May June by our birthdays so I'll definitely let you guys know and keep you guys updated I just wanted to throw this video out there I am editing a vlog so vlog will be up today but I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all in the next vlog when I get these eyebrows together girl ooh